اخوتي واخواتي الان اقدم لكم اخا في الاسلام والعروبه اخ ليس من سوريا ولكنه ما فعله للثورة السورية يغطي آلاف المرات ما فعله بعض المتخاذلين السوريين أخ يعني الثورة السورية تنظر إليه ليديرها لنا ما شاء الله أخ من مصر الحرة الأخ شريف أحمد الذي سوف يقدم أحد ضيوفنا أخ شريف يا جماعة أخ شريف أحمد من القاهرة حلبي من القاهرة حلبي من القاهرة اسمعوا يا اخوان حلبي السلام عليكم السلام I um, I excuse myself before my um, beloved mentor and Sheikh Sheikh Khatanani to speak before him um, however I'm very very happy and pleased and honored to stand here tall and proud next to my Syrian brothers and sisters since the 15th of Adar March we've been marching together on this path of dignity of freedom of democracy we raise our heads high for the Syrian people who are making it on the streets of Latakia, the streets of Damascus, the streets of Dara'a. Everywhere in Syria, we're honored, we're proud to stand next to you. My beloved brothers and sisters, I'm very proud to stand with the Syrian community today. And I say to all of you, we are Syria, shed the hand. وانا واقف فوق الاهرام وقدامي بساتين الشام ومصري وسوري دبيت وحتى يطلع فجر جديد ويا بشار لا تتحدى وهي سوريا منك عدى وهي سوريا منك عدى الشعب السوري بنحييك الشعب السوري بنحييك الشعب السوري بنحييك الشعب السوري بنحييك وكل الأمة بتناديك كل الأمة بتناديك فري فري سيريا فري فري سيريا لونغ ليف سيريا لونغ ليف سيريا there is only one solution 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 Revolution, 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 revolution. Long live the revolution. Long live the revolution. Long live the revolution. Long live the revolution. It's my honor and pleasure to introduce, to introduce my brother, my fellow comrade in the Egyptian Revolution, Muslim and Christian sons of the Nile River. We stand together. Just like the people of Syria, my beloved brother and best friend, Isam Iskander from the Coptic Church. <laughs> Hello, Arab Spring! I was asked to speak in English this afternoon, and it always is good to begin with a story. Once upon a time, in, once upon a time, in 1965, Israel, England, and France got together in 56, sorry, and tried to invade Egypt, believe it or not. And upon invasion, their first target to strike in Cairo was the broadcasting tower of Cairo National Radio. And having succeeded in demolishing the transmitter that was the radio broadcaster and the lifeline for all of Egypt, at the same moment, the radio broadcaster in Damascus said the following words, Huna al-Qahira, 
here is Cairo. Therefore, Egypt and Syria have always been foster brothers and sisters in Arab nationalism. And my only way to return this favorite from the 1950s, from that day of invasion, is to evoke a name of a man we all heard of, or, or some of us even lived in the time, by the name of Gamal Abdel Nasser. And quoting his words, I would like to congratulate you in the following manner. Bismi al-Shaab al-Arabi, Bismi al-Umma al-Arabiya, Bismi al-Giyush al-Arabiya, wa Bismi Thawrat Mas, Nuhanni al-Shaab al-Suri! When we were growing up in school as kids, we had art lessons. And the first piece of art we always were taught to learn was how to draw your flag. And we were always told that it's red, white, and black. And this just goes further to show the extent of the camaraderie and the common DNA that Egypt and Syria always had. When I was a child in grade school, I never cared or never really thought to ask, why these colors? Why in this alignment? When I got a little older, they told me that the red represented the blood of the martyrs, the black represented mourning for those martyrs, and the white finally represented peace that those people brought us. These were just mere words, for I have never lived through such historical, beautiful, monumental times that we so endearingly call the Arab Spring. But I would like to say that these colors have been colored into my soul. And I hope that every Syrian brother and sister feels the same way, that a flag is no longer a piece of cloth, that a flag is indeed the color of this revolution. The blood of the martyrs, supported by their mourning mothers to attain the one elusive yet dear dear target of peace these days in the coptic orthodox community the word fear seems to prevail after five days five days after seeing what could only be called a massacre so people ask me are you afraid? Do you have fear? And my answer to them is, of course I'm afraid. They tell me, what are you afraid of? Are you afraid that you're gonna die? I tell them no. I tell them I'm afraid that one time in Alexandria, I might meet the mother of Khalid Said. Or one time in Tunisia, I might meet the mother of Muhammad Bouazizi. Or one time in Damascus, I might meet the mother of Hamza al Khatib and tell them, that we couldn't do this, that we couldn't finish this. That is something that I'm very afraid of. So, in order to dispel that fear, the Bible says that love casts out fear. Al-Mahabba tatrut al again. Well, one would ask, where would you find love? with the shrap metal and the Molotov cocktails raining on you every day. Where do you find love? Someone else by the name of Che Guevara answered that question for us and said that a true revolutionary, a true revolutionary is motivated by love. And this indeed, my brothers and sisters, is the ethos of this Arab Spring. A peaceful revolution for democratic change in love of country. If, if we stop to think, well, aren't you tired? Aren't you exhausted? Aren't you tired of fighting? Aren't you tired of struggling? Aren't you tired of hearing bad news every day? To that, I turn to the holy book that I have been given as a child and turn to the sixth chapter of the epistle of Paul to the Ephesians in verse 12 who says, For our struggle is not with flesh and blood, 
but with the principalities, with the power, with the world rulers of this present darkness, with the evil spirits. So therefore, please always remember that even if one face, one dictator, one general might embody values that we do want to eliminate, these values will somehow always be there. So let's, it, let's eliminate the value of darkness. Let's eliminate tyranny, not more than tyrants. Let's, let's eliminate injustice more than corrupt politicians. And finally, since we have common flags, it's only appropriate to use the new common anthem that gathers us. So if you please lead me in this iconic anthem that has become that of the Arab Spring and join me and say, Ashab Yurid Eskat El Nizam! Ashab Yurid Eskat El Nizam! Ashab Yurid Eskat El Nizam! Thank you. Next year in the Golan. <laughs>